Samsung Galaxy S10e, Samsung's 2019 entry-level Galaxy S10 flagship phone. I've had it about two weeks. Here is my full review. Let's find out if it's worth it. Coming up right now, let's go. So let's kick this review off by talking about that front display dominated by a 5.8 inch dynamic AMOLED display. One thing you will notice is there's still a chin here for the Galaxy S10e. We're not quite at that bezel-less all screen display. Although we are making progress, we are getting there at the top. Uh, very thin bezel up at the top there. But you're gonna notice that little cutout where we do house our camera. At least Samsung did not put a notch, which kind of differentiates this phone from the other devices out there. We do have our SD card slot microphone hole at the top. At the sides, we do have ourselves a fingerprint sensor integrated within the home button. You could see right there. It actually works very well. And I did want to point out there is the volume markers and the Bixby key off to the left. We have antenna lines on both sides. So you could see one right there and then on the other side right there. Just want to point that out. In the bottom, there's more antenna lines. But we do have our speaker grow off to the right. Microphone hole for talking. USB-C and headphone jack. The back is dominated by the Samsung logo as well as the dual camera, which looks pretty similar to the one on the Note 8 without a fingerprint sensor off to the right. That's pretty much it in terms of the design. It's compact, it's a shiny phone, and it's pretty grippy uh, as well, but you probably still want a case on this phone. At the top front, you can see we have our little speaker grill. I think the Galaxy S10e, the first thing you're gonna notice is how light it is. 150 grams, and this thing is like Pixel 3 light, so you definitely have a light phone here. Now, in terms of display, I noticed that it's scratched up really easily already. Well, not the display itself, the screen protector. So Samsung pre-installed screen protectors, some of them aren't even even. My S10 one's not even even, but yes, get a third-party screen protector if you wanna protect this thing fully. This does have Gorilla Glass 5 on the front, so the display itself should be fine. Overall though, glass phone, it's still fragile. This is not a rugged device. Keep this thing protected if you care at all about your investment. Display quality. We have a dynamic AMOLED display at 5.8 inches across. Plenty of resolution here, over 400 PPI. It's very easy to pull down and just get to your controls on this more compact Galaxy. It's not a tiny phone, but it's more compact than the other devices. Brightness is plenty good enough. It gets plenty bright and even sunlight, it'll jack up the nits and you'll be able to see it. Night mode has been exceptional, well, at nighttime. The cutout at the top of the display, the little hole punch, is it a problem? I haven't found it to be, but if you're the type of person who's definitely the person who looks at little details and sees those little things, your eye naturally just goes to that, it might bother you a little bit when you are pinching to zooming in on photos. You can see the little cutout in the display. Also, if you're watching video and you pinch to zoom, you can see that little hole in the display. But I think for most people that get used to it, it won't be a big issue. I found it to be the case for me. Now, in terms of vivid and natural modes, this is what you can tweak the display like. So really, you have either really saturated or a really natural looking display for your Galaxy S10e. This one also does nice landscape mode, which is awesome for a phone this small. A lot of other phones this small don't do landscape mode, but this one does. And you can see that you do have gestures on this display. X is plenty sharp at 438 PPI. It's not quite as high as the Galaxy S9 of last year, but still, it's not a big deal. Most people aren't gonna care. It looks pretty great. Now, the flat display here, has an edge panel, so that's nice to see. Overall, this flat paneled Galaxy S10e is compact. It has a beautiful color saturation and natural look if you want it. Overall, most people are gonna enjoy this display. Now, when it comes to software, we're talking about One UI version and Android 9 Pie combined. So what you get is a little bit different icon look than before. You also have elements that come further down on the screen to make things easier to use one hand. This is kind of the theme of One UI. You can see it in the camera here as well, and I think it actually works out pretty well. Now, some people don't like the new multitasking where Samsung removes some of its great options where you could just like find a list view. You can also just flip them around. We need to see that in some future updates, but Overall, other than that, there's gonna be settings in here you'll find like digital well-being you didn't see in older you know, software versions. And again, it's a Samsung phone, so all the feature set is here. You'll be finding features throughout your usage of this phone. The most important feature I found was night mode though. This thing was awesome to use. Uh, very functional, very useful, especially at night. You don't need a theme to theme out your phone to get a night 
theme on this phone. It's already built in. The wireless power share is also a nice feature where you could share power over to a friend's device. So that's Android 9 Pie with the One UI. It's a cleaned up version of the Samsung software. I think most of you will have no issues with it, but some people are complaining about a few little features. I think Samsung will rectify those in future software updates. Now, in terms of performance, we're talking about a Snapdragon 855, also known as the SM8150, octa-core CPU, blah, 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 six gigabytes of RAM, blah, blah. What does this even mean? Well, this just means that this thing is a snappy, performer and we expect this in 2019 the galaxy s10e is one of the fastest samsung devices i've ever seen as is the s10 and s10 plus so i don't think you're getting a lesser phone here just because you get the s10e this thing is a blazing fast little pocket performer now we have a dual camera here variable aperture camera at 12 megapixels plus a 16 megapixel ultra wide camera they ax the telephoto for the cheaper model and i'm not upset about it because i actually find this one more useful the wide angle i think it's going to make for more creative shots i think they look like really interesting as well as you can always zoom digitally with this phone if you need to you got super slow-mo slow motion you also have hyperlapse effects here as well and there's many other features in the camera like live focus allows you to switch the blur in the background you could have like a really crazy spin blur and you have like panoramic modes here as well pro mode is not in video anymore so that might upset some users but i think samsung will fix that in future software updates if we click this instagram mode we click a photo we go right into the story so that's pretty fun to use in the software up at the top settings flash we have our timer aspect ratios you can do all the ones you want the most four to three 16 by nine one to one and we have our filter modes over here that do present us with plenty of those as we're used to with pretty much every phone giving us filter effects. You have the beauty mode if you like that. At the top, we have Bixby Vision, AR Emoji. You can see that if we go into settings, we have the scene optimizer mode, which is kind of off to the right of the shutter key in the actual software. But there's so much going on here that you have a very advanced camera in your pocket here with the Galaxy S10e. This is not a little simple camera phone. It has a lot going on for itself. Now the front is very interesting because it's a 10 megapixel dual pixel AF front camera, it has a group mode for selfies, which is a lot easier to use than the wide selfie mode on prior Samsung devices. And it has phenomenal video as well. So this front facing camera is very enjoyable. That's the cameras basically on the Galaxy S10e, but take a look at these samples and judge for yourself if you think you're gonna like this camera. So let's quickly brush over storage. We have 128 gigabytes standard. So the S10e is not messing around when it comes to giving you a nice base storage. You can also expand this thing 512 gigs. So you're never gonna be in need of storage with this phone. It's got plenty. It's got a great file system as well to manage the storage. And overall, I think storage, just the practicality of managing it as well as how much you get is just excellent for the S10e. Um, at the front, you can see we have our battery life indicator and it's at 85% right now, but how good is it in the real world? And I got to say that the S10e has been impressive, but not like overly impressive. It gets me through a day uh, pretty easily with medium use, but heavy, heavy users, you still got to go towards those 4,000 plus milliamp hours, like in the S10 plus, the Note 9, and maybe even the Note 10 coming up soon. So this one is for the average user, the medium user. But if you go into medium power mode, uh, you can definitely get almost heavy user status battery life as it does save tons of battery life. So utilize these power modes if you are going to be using this a little bit more than average use. Uh, the Galaxy S10e, very fun to use with this front facing face unlock. But at the same time, I found it to be very insecure. I was able to fool it with another phone picture. So 
Definitely don't want to use this too much. Stick to that fingerprint sensor off to the right if you want better security. Now audio, headphone jack off to the left, speaker grill to the right, USB-C at the front. We do have our speaker grill up at the top. Dolby Atmos on this phone just like the S9 and S9 Plus make this experience great for audio. It's, it's really loud actually. The speakers are fine. You have your old style option of a headphone jack. I think most people are just absolutely gonna be fine with the S10e's audio. So definitely better than old Samsung's over just giving you a single speaker with the dual speakers. Now, phone call quality is something I wanna mention in this review as well. It's been excellent. You can see I'm full bars right there. Definitely much better reception than I've seen on some competitors' devices. So people had no drop calls with me. I had no drop calls with them. I was happy as heck when it comes to the phone call quality. So Samsung Galaxy S10e represents an excellent value for the price point. At $749.99, you get an awesome ultra wide angle camera, a thin design, a light design, an excellent display, pretty solid battery life here for the Galaxy S10e as well. So if you're the type of person who demands a very nice phone, but also demands a lower price point, I think the S10e is perfect for you. If you demand the best Samsung you can get, this is definitely not it for you. If you want a compact phone and you want a modern device, like from this year, this is going to be one of your best options. If you found this video helpful, entertaining, informing, do me a favor, click that like button for me. Are you going ahead and picking up the Galaxy S10e or are, did you already do so? Comment that down below. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well. I will catch you all in the next episode. Subscribe for more and peace.